how to make everything glow in Blender. So the first thing I'm going to show you is a really easy technique you can use to make any object glow in Blender. Then we're going to go a little bit more advanced and create this colorful gradient ring here and also the reflection underneath as well. So before we get going, I would really appreciate if you can like and subscribe. That is all. Let's get into it. So um, the first thing I'm just going to do is start everything from a blank slate. So I'm just going to create a new file. And then we're going to go A and X it all away. Uh, so I'm going to turn on my screencast keys here. I'm going to go into top view. And now we're going to bring in our ring. So I'm going to go shift A. And I'm going to search for Taurus. So before we do anything with this Taurus, uh, we need to open this little window here. So if you scale it or do something like that, this little window will disappear. So we're just going to click on it now and we're going to change the minor radius. So you want this to be uh, way smaller than the default. So something like that. Then we can just rotate it around on the X 90 degrees. We can go Alt A to deselect everything. Then we're going to go Shift A and bring in a camera. So here we want to set the rotation to the camera to zero. So we're going to go N and go to item. And here we have the rotation. So we're just going to select everything and set this to zero. And then we're going to move a camera on the Y. And just rotate it on the X 90 degrees and go into camera view by clicking zero at the numpad. So now we have a ring and let's make this ring glow. So the only thing you need to do to make any object glow in Blender is go to material, click new, then go to change this principal VSDF to an emission and let's crank up the strength and also we can set a new color so we're going to set this to blue and now if we go into render mode we don't see anything so we need to change our world settings so we're going to go into world and we're going to go to color and change the color to black and we're going to go to render properties and we're going to turn on this bloom so now we have this bloom effect and we created a glowing ring so i'm going to show you one thing more if you want to copy this material onto another object so say for some reason that you want this to be a glowing cube you can just hold down shift click on the ring and then go control and l and go link material like that so let's create this uh, gradient uh, animation that you saw earlier so we're going to bring up a timeline i'm going to click here on my ring we're going to change our timeline into the shader editor and we're going to just delete this material here so we're going to exit away and then we're going to click new and to have to see what we're doing we can change our mode here so let's go into this preview mode and now we're going to bring in a color ramp so i'm going to go shift a and color ramp and we're going to use this color ramp to set our colors that we want for this ring. So if you click this plus icon here, you're going to add in a new color. So we're going to do that. 
and we're going to change this black here to blue we're going to change this middle one here to a purple and then this last one here to a yellow so now if you connect the color into the base color we're going to have one color covering the entire ring so we're going to fix that in a second but before we're just going to connect this color into the emission as well and we can set this emission strength to 10. you can also go to a ridiculously high number here so let's just try to set this to 1000 and cover your eyes because this is going to be really bright so then you're going to have something like that so we just gonna stick with uh, 10 here and then um, yeah let's add in a couple of more nodes so we're gonna get this gradient thing so we're gonna go shift a and we're gonna search for a separate x y and c node we're gonna connect it to the y then we're gonna click on this node and we're going to go control and t so this is an add-on famously called the node wrangler here in blender so if you don't have it you can just go edit preferences go to add-ons and search for node wrangler and check this box and also check this auto save here so when you do that we can do that one more time click on this um, node go control and T and we're going to change the text to coordinate to generated and we're going to remove this image texture so X that away bring these two a little bit closer connect the vector into the vector and here we have a glowing gradient ring so now what we can do is change uh, this mode again back into render mode and we're gonna just create a super quick and easy animation and the best way to make this go in a nice loopy way is to use this so go n and we're going to use the rotation here on the y to create this effect here so if you type in hash frame divided by 20 and just press enter so hash frame divided by 20 we can have this nice and slow animation here so we can make it go a little bit faster so if you go hash frame divided by 10 we're going to give it a little bit more speed so let's bring in a uh, reflection so i'm just going to change a mode for a second here and we're going to bring in a plane so go mesh and plane and just scale it up and then we want to bring it a little bit down and go into camera view and then um, this uh, technique i'm going to show you is a really easy way to create something that looks like water without getting deep into the uh, to the notes so we're just going to click on this one here material properties click new and the only thing that we are going to do is turn up the metallic and turn down the roughness so if we go back into render mode here we don't see anything and that is because we need to change our render properties again so uh, we're going to turn on this screen space reflection so now if i do that we have this nice reflection here and obviously if we want to make this reflection uh, in a different way 
you can just change the roughness so that will create so of like a different uh, reflection effect or something like that now that was true sorry i was turning the wrong one here so the roughness like that so if you play it we're having a glowing ring here in blender so that is all for today if you learn something it will be super duper great if you can subscribe have a great day wherever you are and peace out.